Well, the Honourable Ruth Dyson. I've spoken in this debate by congratulating the Retirement Commissioner for consistently raising the issue of New Zealand superannuation into the future. And the question that I was hoping the Minister and the Chair might answer is this. How can we look New Zealanders in the eye and say that when they reach the age of retirement, that they will have a secure income which gives them the opportunity to live in dignity in our community, that they won't have to, to downsize, they won't have to live in a poor state of health, they won't have to live with poor housing conditions, they will be able to live with security and dignity. The way to do that is to ensure now that we have a fair and sustainable New Zealand superannuation scheme. That's the big challenge for New Zealand. That's the challenge the Retirement Commissioner has consistently put on the table for this Parliament to address and what the National Government has done, and John Key in particular, has buried his head in the sand and said this is too hard, it might not be popular, we're going to just hope the issue goes away. In fact, John Key went so far as to say he would resign rather than face up to the issue. Well, uh, like my colleague David Shearer, I think that's a jolly good suggestion because we want to ensure not just for our generation, but our children's and our grandchildren's generation and their children and grandchildren have security and dignity in their retirement years. We know already that a lot of young New Zealanders just don't believe that there will be a superannuation scheme for them in the future, Mr Chairman. That is really unacceptable. To have our young people, particularly those who are on low incomes, for putting away their bit of money into KiwiSaver, hoping to be able to buy their first house, but who don't have a lot of discretionary spend. The, the people on lower income who work as hard as they possibly can and contribute so well to our society, to their families and to our communities, they deserve the dignity of a secure retirement income as well. It's not good enough in a civilised society that we espouse in New Zealand to have, that only the rich people in our society, only people who are on very high incomes, will have security and dignity in retirement. The reason this issue is so important is because, like every other country, we will have a higher percentage of people who are drawing on superannuation and a lower percentage of the population who are of working age and paying taxes to fund that superannuation. So that's the issue we need to address. We know from OECD reports that we are an outlier on this issue. 28 of 34 OECD countries are planning to increase the age of entitlement for superannuation. Uh, New Zealand is out on its own and not facing up to this being one of the options that we need to address. The IMF says that our superannuation spending will increase in net present terms by 66% of GDP. That's a huge increase, Mr Chairman. Where does the money come from to fund future superannuation needs. Uh, Mercer says that if we increase the age of eligibility for superannuation by two years, that would make a difference of $100 billion over that 30-year period. That's a massive amount of money. And if you do it with Sorry advance notice, it's member, fair and it's sustainable. The time for this debate has expired. The question is that the report of the Social Services Committee on the 2010-11 financial review of the Retirement Commissioner be noted. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. The debate on the performance of the 2010-11 and current operations of Crown entities, public organisations and state enterprises has therefore concluded. I will report the bill to the House. The House is resumed. Mr Chairman. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Committee has completed its consideration of the financial performance in 2010-11 and current operations of Crown entities, public organisations and state enterprises. Mr Speaker, I move that the report be adopted. The question is that the report be adopted. Those of that opinion will say aye. 
contrary, no, the eyes have it. I understand that the, it's the government's intention to introduce an impressed supply bill. Impressed supply, first for 2012-13 bill, introduction. Uh, the bill is set down. For